Hi guys, this is Scrivily again with another product review and today we are going to have a look at a Paper Republic product. Paper Republic is a notebook and stationery brand that is based in Austria, in Vienna. They have sent me this product here, which is a pen roll for review and I'd like to thank you a lot for sending that product to me for review. The product that we're looking at here today is called Le Porte Plume or that is French, meaning something like, yeah, something to carry pens in, to carry pens around. It's a leather pen roll. The one that I have here is brown. The color is called chestnut. It costs 60 euro, which I find is pretty all right for a leather product. It is very nice, smooth leather. It smells wonderful, has a really nice leather smell. It is a very compact pen roll with four compartments. We're going to have a look at it in a moment. Just appreciate it for what it is for a moment from, from the outside. Says Paper Republic here, the brand name with the logo embossed here. Then of course the stitching for the compartments that are inside. It has a small leather button, I should say, here that holds this string in place that wraps around the whole pen roll and that holds the pen roll together. It is a pretty compact pen roll. I really like that. You can see it in my hand. It's really not a large pen roll. Let me see if I have something for a size comparison. Let me just put a pencil beside it, maybe for a size reference. That should give you a rough idea about the size of this pen roll. For opening it up, you just unwrap this cotton cord here. That cotton cord is only, and it, in the beginning when I first used it, it also came off. It's just tied around this little knob here, which in a way, is, I, it was no big issue. I just tied it back on there. And in a way it's also cool because of course it means that you can exchange that thing. So if you don't like the color or if you would like to have a black leather strap instead of the cotton strap or something like that, you could technically just remove that and tie something else around it. Once you untie that because the leather is, it is soft and smooth to the touch, but it is a little stiff in itself. So it means it won't just open up and lay flat in front of you once you untie that. But as soon as you do something like this here, it will actually stay open and it will lay in front of you like that. As said, you have four compartments and I've equipped that pen roll. I've been carrying that with me for the last couple of weeks. Um, it already picked up a little bit some nice patina, not all that much yet, but you can see a little of it. Um, I've equipped that with my pretty typical everyday carry that I would carry with me for a work meeting or a study session or something like that, which is one, two, three fountain pens. Then I have a rollerball pen in here in case I can't or don't want to use a fountain pen. If I want something that is a little more convenient or, you know, document proof ink or something like that, I have a highlighter here. I have a fine liner, I have a felt pen, that's a Stabilo Point 88 and the pen 68, and I have a mechanical pencil. That's a pretty typical daily writing setup and reading setup with me, with which I'm fine. So let's discuss the pen roll a little bit. In the beginning, those four compartments are really, really, really tight. So you really, in order to get, for example, a highlighter in here, you really sort of press that in pretty hard. You see how the leather comes out here and then it sort of wraps itself around those items that you have in here. It extends itself a little bit and stuff like that, which is pretty nice because those, let me call them pen slots here, are actually pretty low. So it makes sense for them to be a little bit tighter because otherwise the pens would just fall out. For my personal preference, I would find it a little nicer if they would come up a little bit more because that would protect the pen bodies a little bit more. And I'm going to discuss that in a minute as well. Um, and be a little more loose instead. I would, it would feel a little bit more comfortable to me because the thing with that setup here actually is that you need to try 
depending on what kind of pens you carry, you need to try to arrange the pens in a way that when you roll it together, because as you see, the pens can touch on to one another. You need to, and you've seen, I've made this kind of an arrangement here that I have a text marker in between my fountain pens, because if I had those fountain pens here, then it would mean that those metal clips would touch those metal clips or bodies. And I would not exactly be comfortable with that. Like this, it only touches onto the text marker, which is all right. And then I can wrap the whole thing up like this. And there I am again with a nice compact little pen roll. Another thing is that flap up here um, is a bit, I don't know. I don't want to say that it's useless, but yeah, you know, I mean, shorter pens, they just, the, the flap doesn't really reach down onto them. So it's sort of, I don't know, it doesn't really protect anything. Like, okay, it touches those two Stabilos here, which are very long, but they don't need any protection. The fountain pens here would need protection. I would have also made that flap a lot longer until down here, and then probably those slots until up here, so that the whole thing is actually really covered. And then I could wrap that up safely. And uh, also that stuff up here, those finials here, would sort of be protected like that. I don't actually know. And another issue that I unfortunately have with this um, flap here is that it's not only short, it is soon in here, but it is also glued. So when you open it up and uh, in the beginning, I thought I've destroyed it when I've opened it up, but of course I didn't. So it's not a major issue, but there is additional glue, which I would have probably not put there. It's not really evenly distributed also. Well, it's a handmade product. Let's not be overly critical, but uh, it just doesn't look really beautiful. And I think it's probably not really necessary to put glue here. Um, the pen roll is nice. It's compact. It's wonderful, nice leather, smells nice, looks wonderfully. Um, it's compact, as said. It rolls and unrolls very very quick so it's a very quick and easy way to store your pens the price 60 euro is really all right i like as said again it's compact size i like its looks the thing that i don't like about it so much is that those compartments are pretty tight that they're pretty low and that that flap here actually doesn't really make sense well Having that said, I would probably not use that pen roll uh, for carrying my Pelican M1000 and my expensive Viscontis that I all don't have, but would I own them? I would probably not carry them in this pen roll. If you're using um, probably also not a Lamy 2000 or that um, uh, Pilot Custom 74, they're not all too crazy expensive. And as said, if you arrange the pens a little bit in a way so they don't really touch onto one another, um, it's all right. To use the pens are very easy to take out and to put back in that works fairly well even with this uh you know pretty thick sturdy highlighter that works quite all right as well the uh, the lamy 2000 or this uh, vintage pilot they just slide in and out seamlessly apart from the issue that i have with the flap and those compartments being a bit too low for carrying more expensive pens, I find for the price, especially it's a quite all right everyday carry. I can't recommend the product wholeheartedly uh, for the issues that I've already pointed out. Um, but other than that, I think the price is all right. And uh, I hope that review was useful to you and I'll see you at the next review. Bye bye.